Today on our 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek, we're going to be test fitting the Swagman XTC2. This is a folding platform style two bike rack. They've de designed it so we can use either the inch and a quarter or two inch hitch with it. The part number is S64670. To begin our test fit, we're going to slide the shank of the rack right into the receiver tube of our hitch. Slide it in far enough to line our threaded hole up with our hitch pin hole. We'll take our anti-rattle bolt, we'll thread that through, and then we can tighten it down with our wrench. As we tighten this down, it's going to draw the shank, as you can see right now, we've got some play in it. It's going to draw that shank over against the receiver tube. As you see, we've got rid of all that, it gives us a nice secure connection. We'll then take the provided clip and slide it right in here on the other side of the bolt just to give us an extra level of security. Let's get a few measurements now that we've got it secured to our vehicle. We'll start with the ground clearance. I'm going to get it here at the rear of the rack. Looks like we're going to have about 15 and a half inches worth. The closest point of the rack to the rear of our vehicle is going to be about five and a half inches away there. And overall we've added about 21 inches to the length of the Subaru. The two black pins that are located here on the outside are the ones we'll pull to tilt our wheel cradles down into position. We're then going to reinsert them in the new hole to secure those in place. Now with those folded down, we'd be ready to load our bike, but I want to show you another neat feature. It's that center pin there. Pulling that allows us to tilt that mass down and out of the way. We can then open up our hatch and get in there to our cargo if need be. We'll remove the pin and bring it back into the upright position and we can reinsert the pin. Now we're going to load up the bike. First undo our rear wheel strap, our front wheel strap, and then we're going to move the center frame hook all the way to the top of the mast. We'll now grab the bike, place it right down into our wheel cradles. We'll secure it first with the center frame hook. We're going to bring the padded hook down to where it meets the top of our frame and then push down. As you can see, it's nice and secure. Now move to the rear wheel strap, bring that around, pull it down, and the same here on the front wheel strap. Now that we've got our bike all loaded up, we're ready to hit the road. We've been able to take a look and see how the Swagman XTC2 fits onto the Subaru XV Crosstrek. Let's see how that same rack performed when they had it out on the test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 